Today, we explore Enugu State, arguably one of the most beautiful cities in Nigeria. Well-planned district, good road, lovely vegetation, hills, waterfall, amazing city vibe, rich culture, best street food, great institution, and historic landmarks. Enugu is truly the dream city of southeastern Nigeria and is the only city in southeastern Nigeria I would like to Abuja. Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to Old Fall 2, the beautiful city of Enugu State, eastern Nigeria. All right, so right now, jumping into a tricycle to tour the city for you guys so you guys can see how the city looks like. Right, starting right now. Enugu, which is also the name of the city capital, is located in southeastern part of Nigeria. The city derives its name from the various hills and mountains that surround the capital city. Hence the literal meaning of the name Enugu, which means top of the hill. The state is also known and called Coal City because coal used to be mined from the state during the colonial period. It's recorded that the first European settlers arrived at the state in 1909, and by 1914, the first shipment of coal was mined and transported to Britain. By the way, in Dutch Democratic Chamfu, they just mined everything that belongs to Nigeria and were just sending it to their place. Could you imagine? Currently inside the Polo Park, and uh, you guys can see how beautiful this place is. So this Polo Park is really beautiful. It's one of the beautiful places to really come check out. Enugu is also the only state in Nigeria that has popularized its dialing code 042, which has become the city iconic code name. All right, so right now let me drive around the city while also let you enjoy one of the pop 042 music of the state. City with all my strength to my landlord I promise to pay my rent represent never ever gonna relent money come cold cities where I'm gonna invest cause 102 I rep 042 huh to a bond in Buseba bond there I thought man when go they like oh make a four I know more I would jump in up in up go for go for it and I'm working go for go for it and she's working go for go for it you want to go for it you want to go for it you want to go for it the <laughs> The rest for the day, na G R U A. Cause one or two, I rep O four two, ha. Two a bond in Busia. Chiba say, can you hear what code they nugu? O four two, ma. O four two, Enugu State. O four two, welcome to Enugu State. O four two, na kwanaka, kosi mwaka, anye mengi for mwaka. So right now we are at the Eastern House of Assembly, right here. That where yeah, you can see the picture of uh, Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe, right? Okay, so that's the picture. This is the Eastern House of Assembly. 
all right so just like you have the national assembly today this place used to be you know the assembly house of the eastern region in those days so i think right now it's being used by the minister of finance all right it's quite unfortunate that uh, in nigeria we don't know how to preserve records this place is not properly kept it's pathetic but at the same time interesting to me Enugu is very historic to major event that took place in eastern part of Nigeria. Although the current Enugu state was created in 1991, but before then it was the administrative headquarters of the south and eastern province in 1929. After then it became the headquarters of the eastern region from 1954 to 1967, after which it became the capital of the defunct state of Biafra during the civil war from 1967 to 1970. After the war, it became the capital of the Eastern Central State from 1970 to 1976 and later the capital of the old Anambra State from 1976 to 1991 before the creation of the state that is known as Enugu today in 1991. It's also part of Enugu that Eboin State was created from. If you haven't watched the Eboin State documentary, it is right here, you can check it out after this video. In fact, speaking of a Boeing state coming out of Enugu state, do you know that the only two airports in Enugu state today is named after a Boeing state indigene? The man known as Sir Akano Ebiam. Sir Akano Ebiam was a distinguished medical missionary later appointed as the governor of the Eastern Region of Nigeria from December 1960 until January 1966 during the Nigerian First Republic. Alright, so I have this funny thought on my head. Since the Enugu state Airports are actually named after a Boeing State indigene. Now, a Boeing State is currently building its own airport. Should they not name it after a distinguished Enugu State indigene? What do you think? <laughs> All right, so I'm just kidding because, as you know, a Boeing State International Airport, which is already con under construction, has already been named after someone else. And if you don't know who that person is, you can just watch this my video and don't ask me why. On a serious note, let me digress a little bit. I really wonder why the leaders that we have today in Nigeria don't really consider public opinion before taking critical decisions that affect all of us. On a very serious note, I mean, why don't you just conduct a public opinion poll and find out about something before you take a decision about it? Because the decision you're going to take will affect all of us. Even though you're in leadership today, I mean, you're going to go tomorrow. And tomorrow, somebody else is going to take your place. But whatever decision you have made already today will be binding on all of us. You know, this is always very surprising to me, especially when I see the Igbo elite who are in political positions today make decisions without conducting public poll. Because from reading and studying the Igbo culture, I know that Igbos have always been very democratic. In fact, that's why in Igbo land you have what they call Ubu or Village Square, where people always gather to make decisions based on public opinion. But in today's space, it seems to be very different. Anyone who gets the power decide what they want to do with or without consulting the public. And I think it's not really good for us, especially if we say we are conducting or practicing democracy. All right, sorry, I digress a little bit. How did I even come here? Let's go back to the video. <laughs> There's a lot of things you can really enjoy in Enugu and places to hang out. But for me, one of the best things you can enjoy in Enugu is to join the Saturday community outdoor spot that holds at the Unity Park. This outdoor spot is amazing and there's no other state in Nigeria that actually can compete with Enugu State when it comes to communal outdoor sports. A full video on this is also coming. Please turn up your notifications so you don't miss out when I drop the video. There's also a lot of tourist attraction in Enugu State, but one that I got to enjoy was the home waterfall, which I consider the best waterfall in Nigeria, if not in Africa. This is not because of the waterfall itself, but because of the location. You know, it's kind of inside of a cave. And I'm telling you, the experience there is amazing. I have a video on it coming. So make sure you turn up notifications so that once the video drops, you don't actually miss out. The videos are all coming. We have lots of videos coming this season. And I'm telling you, the home waterfall is one that you want to see because I did a real detailed tour about the place. 
There are also many places that you can explore in the city to learn about the state and the culture. But if you are truly interested to learn about the history and the records about Eastern region that you can never find on the internet, then one place you should visit is the Enugu State National Archives and you will be truly amazed to find some interesting record that is dated back in the 18th century. So this is a state for the birth of Enugu State. This is where I am right now. So you guys can see where it is. So this is where you have some of the offices or most of the offices of the state. This is where you find it here as well. So most civil servants and most government workers actually come here every day to work. And as usual in this state secretary, you can find people are actually selling things all around here. Okay, right now what I'm going to do is let me show you guys the popular street food eaten in Enugu State. It is called Abacha. This area. Okay, quite here with 200. Can you get with 200? 200 of this will come. Oh, you can get a bachelor. Why is your bachelor this small, small? I know how to go shopping. Eh, I can get a bachelor. Okay. Look, I come around here in the arena because some more actors are coming to my house here in the arena. Ah, bachelor. Okay. Can you hold me in it? Can you hold me in a bit? Yes, yes, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Chuko gosiyeki. Let me take you to the arena. Come around here. Then I come around here in the arena. Come on, 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 come Okay, so this is why you should come to Enugu State. Please test out this one when you come. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can Very good. And if you have more people, don't get one of them. And who gets to go to the camera? I'm just kidding, don't worry. I don't know how to eat this vegetable. Okay, after that, you're not poor. What are you putting now? Oh, yeah, so you're not out of it. Get one day, Kanda. This is Kanda. We call this Kanda. I know in Europe, you call it Bomo. I don't know what they will call it. How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? What are you supposed to put? What is this one? That is egg, onions. Guys, you can see how rich this food is. This food is extremely rich. Okay. Got the egg onions. What is? What is? What is this one? Yeah. This is pepper. This is dry pepper. Oh really? Thank you. Can you order it here? Azo pano. Madam, I'm okay. I'm okay here. See azo. Okay. Why? We want to go to market now. I don't know when he was against him, but I want to go away. Go, hey, she did. If I want to get one again, I see him. See, wait, you want to get some, make you up. Am I that here? Come on, Jesus, come on, 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 there's a proper street food. Oh. Wow. Wow. And then we we'll put fish. Yeah, it's here. It's the center. Yes. Mm -hmm. Middle. Okay. 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 All right, guys, so I just ordered my bacha. This is the popular street food eaten in Enugu State, Eastern Nigeria. So if you ever get the chance to visit Enugu State, please check out our bacha, all right? And you can see the content of the food. There is protein, there is carbohydrate, there is, I don't know what it is. Anyway, I'm not a food person, but. Enugu State, area. My rice or general food? Rice or general food, madam? 
Washirika wa gani? Kehe washirika. Kehe washirika. Unga kwa mihe washirika. Granado tu washirika. Okay. This is 800 naira. This is opa. This is what we eat. This is another street food. All right. This is 200 naira, right? So this is 200 naira. Yeah, why I come here? So I'm going to open it. Let them open it so you see how it looks like inside. Okay. Wow. All right. Good. Wow. Wakashe. Wakashe. This is it. Okay. So this is how it's done. This one doesn't have leaf, right? Why? So these are the two popular foods that are actually eating in Enugu State, this Okpa and Abacha. So you find these bus stops are all here. So this is how uh, the bus stops in Enugu State looks like. They built this all around. So people can just sit down here while they are waiting for bus. All right, so this is something different. In other states, uh, they used to have, but not in this very kind of design. So this looks very good. So you find this almost everywhere, you know, along the road, people sit down, you know, to wait for bus in Enugu State. And you can see the, there's another one over there. Right there, it's another one. Right there. You get to come to Enugu State and you want to take a picture for Instagram. I think this is one of the good places you can try it. All right, they take a picture of itself with the drummers over there, right? Or with this one, awesome. All right, we will continue. I still have like three other places to show you guys, okay? All right, so at this point, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet. You can hit that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel and as well give this video a thumbs up all right that's and comment below what your thoughts are regarding Enugu state all right comparing Enugu state to other states of in Nigeria especially the eastern part of Nigeria what do you think when I say eastern I'm talking about including south south all right so what do you think about Enugu state at my back is the eastern rail corporation Enugu so this place used to be very functional in the days of the eastern regions okay but right now it's absolutely dead nothing is happening dead and trade doesn't run in this part of uh, the east at all however the eastern railway is the eastern railway is still being uh, renovated so hopefully when that happens so train will start running in this part of the world and probably this place will be revived so for now this is how it looks like it's dead nothing is happening here the whole place inside has been converted to night post and that's it, uh, marketplace as well. <laughs> Even the standing at my back also have been converted to markets, which is quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Although they said the stadium is undergoing renovation. Yeah. So we are currently in the biggest market in Enugu, and this place is called Obwete, all right? That's the biggest market. If you want to buy phone or repair your phone, uh, this is the area that you basically have to come this lane. This is where most people come to repair their phone or buy a new phone. No more 4,000. How much is that? It is sure. Everybody can get ready here. 4,000. It's a no more 4,000. It's a street hustle. No more 4,000, no? But it's still selling 4,000. It will sell more than 4,000. <laughs> There's a lot of commercial activities going on in Enugu State, but of course not in comparison to Aba or Onicha. But you know, it's a very lovely place. Finally, I will say that Enugu is one of my favorite states I would gladly leave if I was to move to the eastern part of Nigeria. It's truly a lovely place. However, I also think that the government hasn't done enough to add additional facelift to the state, besides what the state have already achieved in the past. It's so what are your thoughts in today's video? Have you visited Enugu State before or are you an indigenous of Enugu State? What are the things I probably have missed out? You can actually comment below and let us know. I also have a lot of other videos that will be dropping on Enugu as Enugu playlist. So please make sure you really turn up your notifications so you don't miss out any video that we are doing in this season. This is the Eastern Tour documentary that we are doing. And it's important that you follow. Like I've already said, there are not many people that will take up the courage or the challenge to go and cover the eastern part of Nigeria. But I have taken up that challenge to travel all the way from Abuja to go and cover those places in a way that probably other people will not be able to cover. So we we'll have lots of stories that are coming up. And one thing you can do is to encourage me by sharing those videos, liking them, and watching the videos as well and commenting, you know. So that's very important. 
Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's all I have for you. I'll see you guys on the very next episode. Goodbye.